going on here? Look at all these people milling about. Look, anybody who is anybody is here. Look, the Dunningtons are here with the triplets, looking incredibly cute, I might add. Oh. And over here are the Lego Friends girls. It's Olivia hiding there in the back. And over here are a whole heap of Disney princesses. They are, wow, well, actually, I think I have an idea as to why they are hanging out here. Welcome to LEB Toys. They have heard that I have got a complete set of the Lego Movie 2 minifigures and there are dress up costumes in here and they all just want to have a go at trying on some of the costumes. So let's break open the first bag and see who we've got in here and who wants to dress up first. So here is our little instruction booklet. Well. You know, the, our collector's guide. This is all the characters, or these are all the characters. Oh, look at those costumes. Look, there's Wizard of Oz ones too down the bottom. That's so awesome. Okay, but it doesn't look like we've got a Wizard of Oz one here. We've got a little white display piece here, and we've got blue pants, and we've got a worn, whoa, what has happened to Benny's arm? This is Benny the Spaceman with his, look at his really happy face, and his not so happy face. Let's put on his really happy face. Uh, but we all also almost forgot to put on his oxygen tank, so that would have um, meant his is a very happy face, wouldn't have lasted for very long. We'll put his helmet on, and he has got this little hook to go in his cyber arm here. I have not seen the movie yet, so remember, no spoilers, but I'm very curious to find out how he loses his arm. But he's obviously quite happy with his, with his uh, robotic arm there, and he's got his space toolbox. <laughs> so we got Benny the Spaceman and an extra little hook there. We'll be using that in a minute because Olivia, there's no way Olivia was going to pass up the chance to be Benny the Spaceman. She's already got the stockings and a little satin thing on her cupcake shirt, but we're going to change her around a bit. So we're going to keep her little planet stockings, but we're going to swap her shirt over to this one because it just looks a little bit more like an astronauty top kind of thing kind of, if you ignore the racing symbol on the side. <laughs> but it's cute, it's gonna look very cute. So let's, uh, we've put the oxygen tank on, which is very important if she wants to live out in space. And we'll get her helmet on too. Even though it's cracked, it's still gonna be good. And she can hold the toolbox. There we go, Olivia. Oh, she also gets the hook. Told you we had a plan for this hook. For the other hand, and Olivia is the cutest Benny the Spaceman ever. And Benny's face is now cranky because he doesn't have any of his space stuff anymore. And uh, he's got Olivia's hair on. <laughs> Olivia's gone back to join the Lego friends. And Benny's gone off to do something. Hmm, I don't think he likes his new hair. Let's do the next bag and see. Oh, I can already tell what we've got. Let's put it together. These are so adorable. I'm so glad there are some costumes in this set, in this series as well. Look, so we got a happy face. Let's put the happy face on here. And this giraffe costume has got to be the tallest costume I've ever seen. The giraffe gets a little bit of green foliage to nibble on, though he can't reach that from all the way up there. And there's a spare one, which he could possibly nibble on too. But who's going to be the giraffe? Well, Belle. Belle has got the right colors. So Belle is very, very keen to be a giraffe. So let's see, let's, uh, well, we don't have a lot of swapping over to do here. We just need to give her the giraffe headdress and she's set. She's good to go. She's now a giraffe with really pretty filigree embellishments on her costume. <laughs> and uh, the giraffe man has got Belle's hair and it actually matches his boots and his, what are you trying to do there? She can't bend. So she's going to, what? Okay, she's going to borrow Snow White's skirt and kick everybody in the process. Snow White's skirt so that she can actually bend and Snow White's gonna have a go in this enormous ball gown. <laughs> she looks ecstatic. And now she can bend down and nibble on hair and nibble on the yummy green foliage. She looks so perfect as the giraffe. That's so cute. And giraffe guy's wandering off, he looks pretty happy. Okay, next bag. There are 20 of these. We're up to bag number three. And this one has got... There's a little baby dinosaur in here. And it looks like we have got Rex Danger Vest. It's definitely Rex. There's one face. Let's put this one on that kind of determined face with the thick eyebrows. Love his hat with the hair attached. <laughs> it's fantastic. And he's got his baby dinosaur. Very, very cute. Now, the question is, who's going to be Rex? <gasps> it's Alex. 
Rex. Alex wants to be Rex, which is perfect because he's kind of wearing, he's wearing blue and he's got the dark brown hair. So this will go perfectly. Plus, I think he loves dinosaurs, even though he does have a cat on his shirt. <laughs> that hat looks so good. All right, it's now Alex Danger Vest with his little, oh goodness. Uh, let's put this hair over here on the real Rex Danger Vest. And Alex Danger Vest, would you like to see if you can hold this dinosaur? Oh, it's a cheeky little thing. There we go. Now you've got your own little pet baby dinosaur. And Rex looks pretty good with Alex's hair too. Well, wow, this is so much fun. You can go over and show the rest of your family. <laughs> Harry is going to be so jealous. But you'll get your own costume in a minute, Harry. Let's see what's inside this bag. This one is one that I am highly anticipating. This is Dorothy from Wizard of Oz. She's got her ruby slippers and she's got her gingham skirt, blue checked skirt, and her, so it turns into a pinafore. And here she has got two faces. We might put on the slightly befuddled looking expression. And look at her hair, it's so cute. And Toto, Toto is so adorable. She doesn't know where she is. We are not in Kansas now. And uh, Cinderella is all dressed in blue. So maybe Cinderella will make the best. Mm, Dorothy, maybe. Let's try this. <laughs> That's really cute. But it doesn't quite work. Toto's getting confused. So let's bring in um, Alice. Let's bring in Alice in Wonderland. And let's... Let's swap over her outfit for Cinderella's outfit and see, I know it's not gingham, it's not that checked pattern, but I think it'll work better. <laughs> it looks adorable. And her shoes are wrong though. We need, we need, at least we need red slippers. So we are going to pinch these slippers from, who is this? Is this Olivia's mum? From Olivia's mum, we're going to pinch her bottom half and we're not going to see the red skirt because it's going to be hidden under the other skirt. That's so cute. I might need to paint them and make them glittery. I think that's really important, but I think it looks really good. <laughs> and Alice looks really very excited to be wearing Cinderella's dress for a change. So we've got our own little Cinderella Dorothy. She looks adorable. She's calling Toto. Toto's still a little bit confused. There we go. Oh, this is so much fun. Let's see. And in the next bag we have got... We've got... Oh, okay. All right. So we have got one of the post-apocalyptic outfits. Very, very, uh... Yeah, let's put on that face. Let's put on that really cross face. It's Abraham Lincoln. It's apocalyptic Abraham Lincoln. And he has got an axe and I think it goes... I think it goes the other way around. Let's make sure I put it on the right way around so I don't get any people who ax fanciers get all cranky with me putting it together the wrong way around. Now, who's going to be Abraham Lincoln? Ah, here comes Vicky. Well, Vicky, uh, okay, all right, she's got the right colors. The colors will do very nicely and she's got a bit of a, a bit of a smirk expression. She just needs, that looks, <laughs> looks really weird, but I'm pretty sure she will have fun with that ax. And she can make those goggles and that top hat really work. And Abraham Lincoln looks like a rock star with that hair. Hold on, put that axe down. There, well, <laughs> don't knock each other over. Now, I think Vicky's definitely rocking her new beard look. So let's see what's in the next bag. Oh, it's got workman <laughs> oranges. It's got to be Emmett. And look, it even says Emmett on his pants. So there's no way I got that wrong. So Emmett is looking happy and happier. Hmm, which one to choose? Let's just use the normal level of happiness. He's got his headphones on to listen to his iPod there with awesome. He's listening to all of the awesome songs. Now, I think that Henry will make the most perfect Emmett. I think he's like Emmett's doppelganger, but we've got no high-vis clothes that we can actually use in mini doll form. So we're just gonna have to use this yellow shirt. We pinched this from Emma's dad. So, well, yellowy orange, this is as good as it gets. We have got no pants that are actually orange. Let's just swap this over. <laughs> he looks like such a dad. And not that that's a bad thing, <laughs> but he doesn't look like a high vis, you know, worker. So, anyway, but he looks really cute. He just, <laughs> and Emma's really pleased to have some new hair. And I think, I think if Henry is going to be Emmett, then Sophie has got to be Lucy. So, let's see whether, of course, we've got Lucy in here. I totally made sure we had Lucy in this particular bag. So, let's see how we're going to make this work. Because Lucy is like, 
in her apocalyptic form, her post-apocalyptic outfit, which has like got flavors of Mad Max in it. She's got her quiver on the back and she's got a couple of different expressions here. Let's put this one on. I love, love, love her hood with the goggles and she's got some binoculars there too. So Lucy looks fantastic. Sophie, how are we going to turn Sophie into Lucy? Her outfit's just totally wrong. We can't really kind of steampunk her up, but we can kind of warrior her up, maybe? Maybe we'll give her Bumblebee's pants and maybe this top looks kind of metallic and armory, like, like it's kind of like armor. And we'll give her the quiver and she's gonna look pretty, if I can get a head out of her hair. <laughs> there we go. Uh, she's going to look, yeah, pretty, pretty tough like this. Okay, and we put this on and we'll just angle this so the goggles actually cover her eyes. <laughs> That's so, so scary and, and but still adorable. <laughs> She's got the binoculars. She's not going to be able to do much with them. And let me see. Lucy is now definitely looking so cranky. She's got Sophie's hair. She's wandering off too. And Sophie has gone over to hang out with Emmett, a.k.a. Henry. And let's see what's in the next bag. Or oh, more correctly, who's in the next bag? This, oh, this character has got that new coral colour. It is so vibrant. And she's got little mint boots and a white kitty tail. This one's Kitty Pop. This is one of the band members. This is what I'm assuming anyway. I, oh, look at the little whiskers. We're going to choose this face for now, I think. And she's got the kitty hair with a little flippy out bob and a brand new print for a guitar. An animal print guitar. <laughs> that is fantastic and she's got the pink microphone and this is totally totally the beginning of a girl band so we've got a spare microphone here which isn't going to work because it just dropped it on the ground and Mia wants to be the kitty I didn't think this would be Mia's style at all her clothes don't go at all so we're going to actually see if it, Emma can we borrow your clothes is that okay because I actually think they go pretty well for this because the colors well, <laughs> Emma looks really strange in Mia's clothes, but that's okay. Now, the colors are not that coral color, but the mint and the skirt will do. And we can, oh, if we put the tail on, it's just gonna look weird. I'm totally going to have to modify this tail completely to fit a mini doll. And she does look really, really, really cute with that hair. Oh! Mia, look at that! <laughs> and she, oh, dropped that microphone now too. None of the microphones are going to work. <laughs> it's okay, because they probably can't sing very well anyway. Okay, she's looking very cute without her tail. Let's put the tail back on Kitty Pop. Kitty Pop's still happy. Kitty looks pretty okay with Mia's hair. Let's uh, take her out of the way and let's put Mia Kitty Pop over here. She is the first member of the new girl band. We'll put the microphone out of the way. We'll see her in the next bag this is not a member of my newly formed girl band that's so sad but it's not sad because it's scarecrow it's scarecrow from the wizard of oz oh and he has got a certificate of achievement because well that's what he gets in the story because he wants to have a brain now whose clothes match his well hold on anna your clothes match kind of in colors but you're going to be the best dressed scarecrow I've ever seen. In fact, we're just going to be swapping over the hat. Is that going to convince anybody? Anybody? Does anybody believe that Anna is actually scarecrow? Scarecrow looks really, really cute with Anna's hair. Oh, scarecrow is quite happy. He's had a change of hairstyle. And Anna now looks like the best dressed scarecrow I have ever seen. She's going to hang out over here with Dorothy and Toto while we see who is in the next bag. And this looks like, these colours look like we have got another member of our girl band coming. This one is, this one is wild style. Check out those faces. So this one is Lucy before she, well, before the, before everything. Everything is awesome. So she actually recorded the Everything is Awesome song. Is that right? And she gets, it's obviously gone really well because she's got a gold record. Well, this is definitely a role for Andrea. Andrea is, oh, she's got, 
The colours, the pink and the blue are okay. The bottom part, we need kind of leggings in pink and blue. See, that's pink, but that sandals totally don't go. I want some boots, maybe some, yeah, okay. I don't have pink boots, but white boots with pink leggings and a blue skirt is going to work. And the leopard print on her top here kind of ties in what Kitty Pop should have looked like. And the hair looks so good. <laughs> this is a really good look for Andrea. <laughs> this is great. And look at that. She's sharing the microphone with Wildstyle. Now Wildstyle's wandered off anyway. Another member of our girl band with matching microphones. Click. And let's see who's in here. It's a costume. It's the crayon. There's a massive big crayon costume. So purple legs with purple boots and a purple top. There's no markings on here, which is fine. We've got a some cute faces. Let's put this one on. She's got purple lipstick. The purple crayon girl and this is her picture which she has obviously drawn with the pointy end of her crayon. Now this is a costume for Rapunzel obviously because it's all purple and Rapunzel likes to draw. So this couldn't have worked out better. Perfect! That is so perfect! Perfect Rapunzel crayon girl and let's see how crayon girl looks with Rapunzel's hair. <laughs> she looks really cute too. So she can go on, she can go over there and Rapunzel can stand over here and <laughs> we're zooming through these. I have not been keeping count. Uh, I don't know what we're up to, but we have got, still got quite a few to go. We've got some, oh, look at that. Well, this is a golfing outfit. This is President Business, but he's not doing any business. Look at that hair. That hair is ridiculous. It's like Minecraft hair. And he's got a golf club and he's got his little white golfing glove. Now, who wants to be president business in his golfing outfit? Nobody. Nobody wants to be president business. That's a bit sad. I actually don't have any outfits that match, but Mia's dad has got the right color hair, so he's totally going to be president business. We're gonna change his shirt over to one with a tie, just so he looks a little bit more businessy. And we're gonna put, <laughs> put this hair on here. And he looks ridiculous, <laughs> but it's fun to dress up. Doesn't matter how ridiculous you look. You might as well just have fun. He's got the golfing club. He does not look as though he's dressed for golf. We'll put his hair on President Business and they are just the most mismatched pair you've ever seen. Oh, no, 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 you cannot have that golf club back. It is now Mia's dad's new hobby. <laughs> I've decided who's in the next bag. There's a watermelon costume. <laughs> Oh my goodness me. This is such a great series. So we've got, nah, let's not do the glasses. Let's do this. Oh, watermelon slice. And this one's in pink. So that's different from the other ones that we have had before. And it comes with two watermelon slices. That's handy. Now, Violet really wants to be a watermelon and she's already got the right colors. She's green and she's pink. And all we need to do is swap over the costume. And ta-da, she's ready. Now she just has to hold the little bit little slice of watermelon and would you like to have violet's hair pigtails watermelon watermelon guy yeah he's thrilled okay that's cute that is really cute violet so you can go over here and hang out with the rest of your family and we'll see whether this is tin man it is it is tin man from the wizard of oz this is a really good outfit. It's got a bow, hold on, there are two. Nope, there's three bow ties included in this set. Huh, that is weird. Okay, but he looks really good with his bow tie. It looks very formal. He's got his funnel hat on his head and he has got his ax. So he's almost fully equipped, except now he also has a heart. And this is this new heart-shaped tile that we've seen in pink and orange. And there's two of them in this set. Wow, three bow ties and two heart pieces. That's really unusual. Snow White wants to be Tin Man. I don't know how we're gonna work this. I suppose like with the ax is like the ax man who is supposed to chop out her heart and take it back to the evil queen. I don't know, but how are we gonna make her silver? This is the best I've got. I've got a silver skirt and this kind of metallic-y top. We can put the bow tie rather loosely around her neck and we'll put her head on here. And when we put the funnel on her head, she will magically transform into Tin Man. Actually, she looks pretty cute. We'll give her the axe and we'll give her the little heart. And I, I, I don't think there'd be any mistaking who she's supposed to be. And Tin Man looks hilarious with her hair. 
But she actually looks like she's put on a costume that's kind of too big for her. <laughs> it's really cute. Okay, okay. We have got lots and lots and lots of pieces in this. So this is, this is a buildable unikitty. So let's unikitty this up. Lots of little pieces, little single squares. This is, we've got a few unikitty pieces now because there was a whole unikitty minifigure series. And this one, is pretty normal looking unikitty she's got a blue unicorn horn on the top she's already we got some spare pieces which is very useful but what are we going to do here stephanie wants to be unikitty how are we going to do this okay blue skirt this will do very nicely with unikitty's color scheme i'm going to use this tail that i made for my unicorn mini dolls my custom unicorn mini dolls and a pink top so that goes well she's blue and she's pink and we're going to put her on this stand because that tail's going to tip her over backwards otherwise. I'm going to put Stephanie's head on here, but the hair's not going to work. And I think the best hair for this is the one from the N-Pop Girl from the Ninjago Movie minifigure series. This is just so perfect with the big coils and the pastel colours. And I have got a unicorn horn that I made, a spare one. Let's see if it fits in here spare one that I made when I made my unicorn mini dolls and this now turns Stephanie into Unikitty. Ha! <laughs> That's adorable! Oh, and Unikitty's so thrilled that Unikitty just went away somewhere. Okay so Stephanie is Unikitty. What are we doing next? It's the crazy cat lady isn't it? It is the crazy cat lady but in her post-apocalyptic outfit she looks like Oh my gosh, she looks like she's wearing like red leather. Look at her little whiskers. They're like wool paint. And the cat has got a mohawk and has been seriously beaten up. Okay, Dottie is the perfect choice for this. In fact, Dottie, Dottie's hair would totally work. But let's swap it over. Right, Dottie's hair looks fantastic on the crazy cat lady. Uh, but the outfit's not going to work. So let's, let's steal this outfit here from the Goblin King. I don't really think this is totally going to work either, but we're going to give her armor of a sort. I don't have any brown armor, so we're going to go with black armor. And Scarfield is fantastic. Okay, Dottie, you are ready to go out there and fight some battles. <laughs> and you got a new cat for your collection as well. So let's put them over here and break into another bag. There's a lot of green in this bag. Let me see we've got we have got the swamp monster in his in his post-apocalyptic form he's got markings on the back of his head and his eyeballs go so perfectly through that helmet and he has got a whip so this must be his weapon of choice now who's going to oh wow ariel and harry want to be the swamp monster let's try the helmet on ariel Oh, she looks cute, uh, but Harry really wants to be the swamp monster. So Ariel is so kind. She's going to wait for the next one. So Harry gets to be the swamp monster. <laughs> and that's so good. Yeah, you can have the whip. There we go, Harry. <laughs> Harry the swamp monster. And Harry's hair actually goes really nicely with the swamp monster's eyeballs. Very nice color matching. Okay, swamp monster Harry. I'll go over here and hang out with your family. And this costume is for Ariel. So let's see. You know, I don't think we could have chosen better if we had have chosen it because the colours are the right colours for Ariel. We've got some pink, pink knickers here. We've got a little green skirt. And, and, oh, this is, this is the hula. This is the hula pop singer, pop singer girl with the really cool hairdo. And she has got a pink microphone too, like the rest of them. And she's got a record and a spare microphone. And Ariel is perfectly coloured for this. Absolutely perfectly. So what if we just swap over the hair? Well, that's cute. That's very cute, but we can do better than this. So let's bring in Poison Ivy and let's steal Poison Ivy's outfit because it has got pink flowers and all the green kind of look that the Hula Lula girl has got too. So there we go. Ariel, you've got some legs and you're ready to be part of the girl pop star group. <laughs> and you look really cute with her red hair too. That actually suits her really well. Okay, Ariel, you can go over here and join the 
doing the pop band. I love all these outlandish outfits, these wacky hair colors. It's so cool. Okay, we have definitely got the Cowardly Lion now from the Wizard of Oz series. We've got a little brown tail, little furry costume here. And here's his head. He's got two faces, the sad one, the happy one. Let's make him happy. And we'll put his headdress on, or his mane on. And he has got a medal for courage. And who's going to be the Cowardly Lion? Well, Tiana. How are we gonna do this, Tiana? Let's just swap, let's just swap over the hair and see how that goes. Okay, we're gonna need to do something about her outfit. So let's see, I've got some, this is brown legs and this is the best brown top I can find. And now Tiana is the Cowardly Lion here. If you just hold this medal here, you are totally the Cowardly Lion and you can hang out with the Wizard of Oz figures too, if you just hold your medal properly. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, would you like to try out Tiana's hair? Okay, that looks totally wrong. <laughs> cowardly Lion gets a new hairdo and Tiana gets to be the Cowardly Lion. Right, uh, I think Emma is the only one left without a costume and that's very lucky because there is one bag left. So let's see what is in the last bag. I think we might have been saving the best for last. There's a pink tutu with little, are they lightning or is it stars all over it? It's glittery and it's pink and it's stripy and it's yellow and she's got pink blush. <laughs> she's so good. And the hair's got like this little extra color on the side, little light stripe and some stars. And she has got a cassette tape. Do you guys even know what a cassette tape is? <laughs> ah, it's returned to the eighties. Emma. How are we gonna do this? So we need, we need a better outfit for Emma. So Mia's clothes are not gonna work for this. So we're going to choose pink boots and we're going to use one of my tutus that I made for the ballet studio. A stripy pink top because there's stripes on the original minifigure. And the mint color goes well with the rest of the girl band colors. That looks really, that looks really cute. And now if we just swap over her hair, the outfit is complete and she looks totally rocking. She's got her cassette deck <laughs> and she's got her pink microphone and she's ready to rock. I reckon she might be the lead singer in the band, though I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Okay, I think, I think that we are totally out of minifigures and everybody has got a costume. So let's check it out. The Darlington family looks so adorable in their selected costumes. Here are the actual costume ones, so the crayon and the watermelon and the giraffe, they are so good. And the post-apocalyptic like style, they're hanging out over here together too. And my new favorites, the girl band. <laughs> so here they all are, mini figures transformed into mini dolls. I think they look spectacular. Did you have a favorite transformation? Let me know in the comments. And Make sure you subscribe and like and do all of those important things. Check out some of my other videos and I will be back with a new one very soon. So I will see you then. Bye.